Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel like this video and watch this video until the end because if you don't you will be automatically disqualified from the giveaway we will be sharing the random hashtag keyword daily somewhere in the video and then comment hashtag the keyword with no spaces in between in the comment section good luck now let's proceed with the latest direct in our news and until today please take these information with a grain of salt and please make sure to do your own due diligence from Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, well, some chatter from another different contractor that is hearing the same as the previous contractors. So, multiple confirmations that are hearing a range of rates from the mid to upper $3. They work in different industries and different companies, and they think it will be extremely soon. From Intel Guru Frank 26 Iraq Boots on the Ground report, from Firefly, some guy on television talking about advantages that we as Iraqi citizens are going to have with a fixed exchange rate pegged to a stronger currency. He says Iraq now has a soft peg and the float is not necessarily as a fixed rate. From Frank, the monetary reform education is explaining the reason why you don't need a basket. They are also expressing you don't need a float. That's because your reserves are so powerful, but in my opinion, the float will occur because it needs to reach the real effective exchange rate of your currency on an international level. They are also trying to explain to you, you do not need to be pegged to any currency, not even the dollar. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, everything is falling in line for Iraq to go international. You haven't seen the salaries paid yet. You haven't seen the oil start pumping yet into Turkey. Why? Because they haven't shown us or exposed an international real effective exchange rate. That's my view on it. From Newshound Guru Pimpy, some of the bigger points we see inside the Iraqi dinar community such as, let them reinstate the exchange rate to $3.22 the old rate. That's not the old rate. It's been a myth for a long time. The $3.22 rate was there, but that was not the one they left when it became a devalued currency. It was something like $1.52. The other one is the hydrocarbon law that once it passes, then the Iraq citizens are going to get payments. They're not going to get payments. Read the law. Nowhere does it say they're going to get payments. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, question, could Iraq lock the zeros off? And then what we hold is worth nothing. From Mark Z, Sudani has said no. The man, Dr. Shabibi, who designed the RV said no. Anyone in pretty much every level of authority in Iraq has said no. From Newshound Guru Claire, article, advisor to the Prime Minister, the dollar exchange rate in the parallel market is gradually approaching the official one. Quote, sale, explain the dangers of the exchange rate fluctuations in the event that demands for floating the dinar are met, while confirming that the dollar exchange rate in the parallel market is gradually approaching the official one. From Intel Guru Frank 26, question, do you have to change rates before May 9th ascension in the WTO? No, you can have a membership in the WTO with a low exchange rate. That doesn't interfere with it. From Newshound Guru Caperoni, a country's currency is not some random act. An exchange rate is based on many factors including reserves, GDP, economic growth, etc. Iraq has a long ways to go and must pass laws to encourage investment. Only with the success of Iraq's economy can the dinar rise in value. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, Iraq has been quiet since they told us to expect a rate change in their markets, and it's now up to the CBI as to when. Then they went quiet. Quiet is not a bad thing right now. They did let us know recently that they have a new banking system prepped and ready to go. 
and they have distributed millions of cards to people to use for banking. From Newshound Guru Samson, article, The largest gas field in Iraq is close to seeing the light, a wealth that will reduce the import bill. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, Community Comet May 9th WTO, the reference to that date is on the WTO calendar as a non-WTO working day. From Newshound Guru Pimpy, question, what do you think would be the ideal exchange rate for the dinar? You need something that's right in the middle. One to one exchange rate would be right in that sweet spot, enough to where they get more purchasing power on their imports, but also still be competitive on the market with their exports. I would say one to one exchange rate would be the perfect location. Before ending with the last update, the hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is distributed. You can be the lucky winner if you like, subscribe, and watch the main content of this video. This will be for this coming Sunday's giveaway, and the winner will be announced in one of the Sunday's videos so you do not want to miss it. And finally, the last update is from Intel Guru Frank 26. If you only have 500,000 dinars, a bank's wealth management department probably won't talk to you. That's why you need a team. Now the wealth management department is your team. They got the lawyer, trust funds, they can even collect taxes. They got everything you need in the wealth management department of a bank. There's your team. But I also want to caution you. Chase Bank is in Kahoot. In partnership with JP Morgan. JP Morgan answers to the bank. JP Morgan does not answer to you. You must make the decisions that JP Morgan brings you as options. So as much as you may say, okay, I'll use the team the bank has. Just be aware that that team works for the bank, not for you. And at your expense, they will make a profit for that bank. That's all for the latest updates on the Iraq dinar. What are your thoughts of all the articles or news coming from Iraq and opinions from these Intel providers? Moreover, we posted a significant news article video the other day. Iraq's Prime Minister, Mohammed Shia al Sudani, has embarked on a significant journey to read Saudi Arabia to participate in the World Economic Forum. This development underscores Iraq's dedication to engaging with the international community and seizing opportunities for economic growth and development. We explored the importance of this event and its implications for Iraq's economic and monetary reform efforts. Please go ahead and check it out by clicking on the link on the top right of this video, as you don't want to miss this. Lastly, we will continue to post videos about the recent events and articles supporting the changes taking place in Iraq so you don't want to miss them. Also don't forget, please drop a comment below with hashtag and the keyword and let us know what you think. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video. Bye.